Hi guys, welcome to Medieval Engineer. So today we plan to publish to release a mod uh, that is actually a world to introduce you to a building that was very popular during Middle Age and that uh, is the Market Hall. So many of them were built uh, in Europe during the 12th and the 13th century. They take place in the center town as a very important building for commercial activity and economical activity. Uh, the first one we built, we took inspiration from two existing ones, so we bring like some picture for you to discover them um, and to, to see how close we, we, we try to be uh, working mainly on the carpentry because the woodwork is the main point, right? Uh, those buildings have almost no walls and they have just like some pillars, mostly in woods most of the time, they can be in stones as well, and a roof. Uh, uh, and then they are like very open so that people can sell animals and any type of things. So that's that's why they are so open as well. So uh, the carpentry uh, is really the, the woodwork is really the key uh, that make them majestic, right? Tons of food were being used like oaks and really big, big, big pieces of woods uh, to make all these stands. Um, and the main inspiration coming from barns and stables, right? Because they were the building at this period of time that was really, we are really high, high, and and the carpenters were were just applying the same techniques to all market, to market all. So here we go with this one. We build like some, uh, you know, like decent woodwork. Uh, uh, this one is from uh, Cremieux, the market hall from Cremieux, which is a village uh, very near Lyon in the center south of France. They are actually uh, uh, probably the longest one in France. They are really, really lo a long building. Like this one we've been building is not so long because uh, that may have challenged a lot the, the <laughs> structural integrity, as a matter of fact. But we've been working on a very uh, realistic approach for camp carpentry and woodwork as well, like taking like uh, the pictures and analyzing them and trying to reproduce uh, what what is this work actually. Right? So you can just have the feeling of how it looks to, to, to walk inside this kind of building with all these tons of food on top of your, your head, right? Uh, some more picture for you to, to check. Uh, and then we're gonna fly a bit, like to show you this from the top. See really like uh, the, the, I don't know, maybe we, we talk about like hundreds of tons of of food, like for, for such a building. So they are not churches, they are not castles. But they have their really like uh, important place during Middle Ages. They are a sign as well of economical activity, right? And uh, this period of time, you should like imagine like from the 13th century, many center of town, like with this building in the center, uh, in the center, like close to the church and like many people coming like daily doing their uh, commercial and economical activity. Uh, to finally, we, we introduce you the old market hall from Agreville, which is another place in France, right? So this time we've been building like the structure is probably more close, closer to the real one, right? You can see the picture like uh, here on the left. Uh, and this time we left it empty, so we think you could just like maybe challenge it and try to build your own carpentry if you like the, the, the idea to bring some more realism in your building so as you may see the structural integrity allow us to the roof is standing and 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 you know nothing is being broken so we don't really need these pieces of wood to make it stand right but it's nice to approach this 
would work and, and try to bring some more realism in your building. So if you like to challenge again, like just post me picture and video, we just put you some more picture at the end of this video so you can take more inspiration. Uh, and we thank you a lot for watching this video. We hope that you got to learn like a few things at least. Uh, and again, uh, if you have questions, comments, or want to like, like be welcome. Uh, have a great day and thanks again for watching.